Join me on a journey to embrace your Cavella life. Hi friends, my name is Rachel. Thanks so much for joining me. Welcome to your yin practice. So if you're ready, let's begin coming to our feet, coming to the top of our mat, into Tadasana Mountain Pose. Roll the shoulders back. Maybe close the eyes or keep the gaze straight ahead. Turn the palms out to the sides. Begin to feel the feet grounding into the earth. Begin to arrive on your mat. Start to connect with your breath, inhaling through the nose and exhaling out the nose. Inhale, float the arms up overhead. Bring the palms together. Exhale, float the hands into the heart center. Just taking a moment here to set an intention, dedication for your practice if you'd like. Inhale, let's float those arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. We're gonna add on here, taking our first forward fold. Exhale, forward fold. Bend those knees as much as you need to. Inhale, bring the palms to the shins, coming into your flat back, gaze forward. Exhale, fold, bend the knees, rolling all the way up, coming back to Tadasana Mountain Pose. Inhale, float the arms. Exhale, hands to heart. So two more, just like that. Start to connect the breath with the movement. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, roll through that spine. Float the arms. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Rolling all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. We're going to add on, bringing in the lower body. Inhale up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold, adding on right here. Step the right leg, then the left leg. Find your high plank, stacking the shoulders over the wrists. Start to engage the core, draw that navel to the spine. Push the ground away, pushing into your palms. Open up that upper back. And if this is a little challenging, always modify dropping those knees down to the ground. Start to really push that breath through the body. Building some heat here. And then let's lower the knees, the chest, the chin, coming all the way down onto the belly. Take the palms outside the chest, elbows to the sky. Peel that chest, baby cobra. Waking up that lower back. Exhale, float it down. Press through the palms, tuck the toes. Find your first downward facing dog, lifting the hips up to the sky. Let that chest drop down. 
maybe pedal the heels here, bend the knees, move those hips, let the head just hang, start to release any tension in the body. And drawing the shoulder blades down the back. And then find stillness here. And let's lift those heels, walk the feet coming back up to the top of your mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Roll all the way up. Inhale, float the arms. This time, really lift and lengthen, grounding those feet. Coming into a little mini back bend, opening up that front body. Exhale, hands to heart. I'm gonna just repeat that other side. Inhale up, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold, this time left leg, right leg, high plank. Push the breath. An option here to start to shift the weight forward and back, waking up the feet, the ankles, the shins, or just be still here. Stay with your breath. And then find stillness in your plank and then lower down chest chin. Take it all the way down. Inhale, peel the chest. Maybe come up a little higher. Exhale down. Press into the palms, pass through tabletop, tuck the toes. Downward facing dog. Two breaths here. Remember to listen to your body and do whatever you need for your body. Nice. Lifting those heels, let's walk the feet, coming back up to the top of the mat. Inhale, flat back, exhale, fold. Roll all the way up. Inhale. Lift and lengthen, exhale, take that back bend, opening that front body, exhale, hands to heart. Circle those arms, coming in for Utkatasana, chair pose, sitting down, gazing up, unshrug the shoulders, lift the chest. Slide pelvic tilt, sit down a little bit lower here. Breathe. Big arms, dive it forward, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, exhale, fold, walk, step or float the feet, high plank. From here, baby cobra, or if you're ready, chaturanga, lowering down like a pushed up. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, roll through the feet, down dog. Two breaths. From here, we're gonna add on floating the right leg up for our three-legged dog. Float the right leg up to the sky, doesn't matter how high. Just extend through that leg. Maybe point the toe, flex the foot a couple of times. Draw that leg out of the hip. Exhale, flex the foot, float it down, coming back to down dog. Option to hold here or flow through high plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Left leg, three-legged dog. Square the hips and shoulders to the ground. Really lengthen through that leg. Flex and point the toes. And 
and then flex that left foot, float it down to meet the right, down dog. Hold here or high plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Two breaths. Walk, float. Walk, float the feet. Coming back up to the top of your mat, back to chair pose. Inhale, open up, chair squats, warming up those legs. Inhale. So go at your own pace with your own breath. Keep that alignment. Exhale, sit down nice and low each time. Inhale, open that body. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Hold here. Reach through those fingertips. Dive it forward. Inhale. Flat back. Exhale. Fold. Walk. Step or float the feet. High plank. Chaturanga. Exhale, down dog. Right leg floats up, three-legged dog. This time, bend that right knee, stack the right hip over the left. Let that right foot hang heavy, opening up that body, opening up that hip. And then right knee floats into the chest, step through for a low lunge. Inhale, sweep the arms. Exhale, sink the hips. Gazing up, unshrug the shoulders. Open the arms, frame that right foot. We're gonna flow through, float that right leg. Exhale, float it down. High plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Adding on left leg, three legged dog. Bend that knee, stack the hip. Hold here, really opening it up. And then knee to chest, step through for a low lunge. Inhale, sweep the arms. Exhale, sink the hips. Gazing up, lift your heart to the sky. Open those arms, frame that foot, flow it out. Three-legged dog. Exhale. High plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Two breaths. And then let's float our knees down to the ground. Coming right into your child's pose. Let those hips drop to the heels. Let the chest drop to the thighs. Take the arms out in front, nice and long, extended child's pose. Maybe tent the palms, come up onto the fingers. I'm getting an extra stretch here. Begin to externally rotate those shoulders out. And just slowing things down. 
And take the knees wide if you need to. And let's walk those hands over to the left side, walking the hands off the mat. Start to come into a beautiful side stretch from that right palm down all the way into that right hip area, that right glute. Staying with your breath. Deep inhale, push the breath into the lungs. Start to relax here and release. And let's slowly walk the palms back in through center. And just walk them over to the opposite side, over to the right side. Both palms come off the mat. Feel that left side body stretch. Deep inhale through the nose. <coughs> Slowly releasing. And then let's bring those palms back to center. Maybe the forehead touches down, maybe going a little deeper into your child's pose. So just take a minute here to notice where you're feeling any tension, resistance, maybe the lower back, the hips or the shoulders, the upper back. So wherever you're feeling that tension, as you're moving through your yin practice, just give those areas a little bit more attention, extra love, push the breath to those areas and start to release the tension. And slowly, let's float up into our tabletop. And coming slightly towards the back of the mat. And coming into your tabletop. We're going to come into our melting heart. So focusing on the shoulders, the upper back. Take the knees, hips width apart. Keeping those hips stacked over the knees, start to walk the palms forward. Maintaining the hips over the knees. And then once you can't walk the hands any further, slowly start to let the heart melt down towards the ground. So you might feel this in the shoulders right away, the tops of the shoulders. So just move really slow. There's no rush. Try to keep the elbows and forearms off the ground. Up. 
option here to rest the forehead and then slowly keep on letting that chest drop closer search for that edge and sometimes we don't have to really search for it we instantly feel that tension that resistance our body talking to us But if you're really open here and you really have to search for that edge, maybe start to change your gaze, lowering down onto the chin, keeping the gaze towards the top of your mat, going deeper. Remember to stay with your breath. Breathing through that tension. Start to feel the shoulders opening, the upper back opening. Take one more last deep inhale and exhale, let it go. And then slowly lower those forearms down, the elbows down and slide onto the belly, releasing out of the pose. Take those arms alongside the body, palms facing up. And then option here to ground the forehead or if you'd like turn the head towards the right resting that left ear onto the ground let the shoulders fall to the ground let the legs just kind of splay out here allowing the whole body to just melt into the mat And then if you have your head turned, just come back to center, really gentle. And then turn it to the opposite side, this time the right ear grounds. The shoulders fall.
And then just bring the head back to center. Walk those palms in. I'm going to stay right here on the belly, just transitioning right into our Sphinx Pose. So Sphinx Pose, make sure the legs are a little wider. Just be comfortable. Maybe the feet are kind of mat swip. Start to come onto the forearms, walking the elbows underneath the shoulders. So we're coming into the lower back. So most of your weight is probably in the elbows, the pelvis area, maybe the thighs. So this is all about the lower back, the lower spine. So just settle in here. Keeping the gaze straight ahead or close the eyes. Try to relax the shoulders, make sure they're not up towards the ears. And then once you kind of settle in here, taking any weight out of the palms, the forearms, just try to relax the glutes, the legs, try to relax all the muscles here. Think about puffing the chest forward and lifting through the crown and just notice the sensations in the lower back. Just breathing here. Go a little deeper, coming more into the middle of the back. Feel free to transition into seal pose. Start to lift the elbows, the forearms off the ground, coming up onto the palms. And just notice where those sensations travel or shift or change. And if at any time this gets to be too much, just slowly make your way back to Sphinx Pose. And just make sure that the shoulders are not traveling up towards the ears. Just breathing here. Lengthening through the crown. So also in our yin practice, it gives us an opportunity to quiet the mind, quiet any chatter, taking this time to just slow down, let go of any negative energy, any negative thoughts. Let this be your time to 
Just let go. If you're in seal, slowly lower those forearms down, the elbows down. Let the chest come all the way down. Take the arms alongside the body. Let's get another little neck stretch in. So turning the head towards the right, resting that left ear, pressing that left ear like you're trying to listen something underneath your mat. Come back to center and just take it to the opposite side. Right ear grounds. Everything just melts into the mat. Come back to center, taking the palms outside, the chest elbows to the sky. Maybe start to bring the legs in closer and just make your way nice and slow into your extended child's pose. Lowering those hips all the way to the heels. Stretch it out. Let that forehead touch. slowly let's come back up to tabletop and then from here we're going to shift our attention to the lower body so tucking the toes find your downward facing dog lifting those hips up to the sky let the chest drop let the head hang pedal the heels move the hips take whatever movements you need And let's float that right leg up to the sky, coming into our three-legged dog. And extend and then bend the knees, stack the hips. Draw the knee into the chest. Stepping through, coming in for dragon or a low lunge. So find your low lunge here. Just make sure that that right knee is stacked right over the right ankle. And then start to slide the left leg back behind you. Feeling a nice stretch in the hips, the thighs, the hip, left hip flexor. Resting those palms, framing the right foot. 
Start to relax that upper body. So maybe the torso is leaning into the thigh. Just start to really let go here, taking any weight out of the arms, the palms. Let the head just hang. Make this all about the hips. Remember to search for that edge, that point. When you find it, just hold and breathe, allowing the body to surrender, release. Your body automatically will do its magic. You just have to breathe. Little by little, you might feel a release and then maybe inch your way going a little deeper, maybe slide that leg back a little bit more, allowing the hips to drop lower. It's never really pushing anything or forcing anything, so just Allow the body to naturally come into the pose. And from here, I'm just gonna take a little counter stretch. So shifting those hips back start to come into a forward fold over that right leg so squaring the hips towards the top of your mat or rather with the top of your mat maybe start to flex that right foot maybe lower the chest down towards the thigh so you should start to feel Nice stretch or lengthening in the hamstring behind that, the back of the right thigh. So remember, if you feel like this is pressure on your left knee, you can always add a towel, a blanket, anything to kind of cushion the body. You don't want to be thinking about, oh, my knee is hurting. So just... Make yourself comfortable here so you can totally relax and get all those benefits from your practice. One more nice deep inhale and exhale, fold over that right leg. And let's slowly release, always moving, extra slow, in yin. So from here, we're gonna come into um, a <clears throat> lizard pose. So a little deeper into the hips. So walking that right foot out, 
Walk that right palm in. Start to slide the left leg back a little deeper. Maybe tuck the left toes. Maybe move forward and back. So a lot of variations. You can stay right here up on the palms or start to lower down onto the forearms. Maybe roll onto the outer edge of that right foot, opening up that right hip. And I'm just going to hold here for a little while. practice we're getting into the connective tissues asha giving the muscles a break If you'd like to try a twist here, resting on that left forearm, start to turn the torso into the right thigh. Maybe take that right palm to the right knee or maybe float that right arm up, gazing up. Maybe wrap that right arm around the lower back and start to spiral the shoulder open, opening the chest to the sky. And just notice how you're feeling in the hip area. So these are all just options. You can totally just stay wherever feels good for you. slowly make your way back to center start to come back up onto the palms walk that right foot in and just take that counter stretch for a couple of seconds here. Just shift those hips back, fold over the right leg. And then exhale, walk the palms back up. Come back to your dragon pose and let's just flow through our three-legged dog. Stretch that right leg out. option here to just float back to down dog or high plank chaturanga inhale upward facing dog so you might notice that your body doesn't feel balanced in the hips 
So let's balance out the body. Let's take it over to the left side. So left leg floats up. Three-legged dog, bend the knee, stock the hip. And then let's float into our dragon pose. Left knee into the chest, step through. Stack that left knee over the left ankle, slide the right leg back. So coming in to soften the upper body, the arms, the shoulders, the head, the neck. Try to let go. Flexor stretch. Don't hold the breath, stay with that breath. Coming into that forward fold, shifting the hips back, fold over the left leg. Square the hips. Let the chest drop to that left thigh, maybe flex that left foot. And if you find your mind start to wander, just come back to the breath. Stay present, be present in the moment. It's part of our yoga practice. Just being here. Slowly release. Let's come back to the top of our mat. And coming in for our lizard pose. Start to walk the left foot out this time to the edge of your mat. Walk that left palm in. Slide that right leg back behind you. And then take whatever variation of lizard you took on the other side just even out the body here if you came up high an active lizard tucking the toes or maybe 
down onto the forearms. Maybe roll onto the outer edge of that left foot, opening up the hip. And just remember to be patient with your body. If you're having a hard time or feeling really challenged, maybe you're feeling really stiff or tight, Just be patient. Over time, the body will make space. That's why we're here, using the breath, taking the time to take care of the body. That's the great thing about the in practice. It's not a follow me practice. You don't have to do what I'm doing. You do what feels right for you and your body today. If you want to go for the twist and you did on the other side, let's start to ground that right forearm. Take that left palm to the left knee, start to open the chest to the sky, maybe float the arm up. Maybe wrap that arm around the lower back. Spiral that left shoulder open. Feel the hips opening up. twist, start to make your way back to center. Coming back to the top of your mat. Taking a couple of deep breaths here. Start to make your way back up onto the palms. Walk that left foot back in. And take that counter stretch slowly. Shift the hips back, folding over that left leg.
exhale, release, come back to the top of your mat. And let's flow through our three-legged dog, tucking the right toes, extend that left leg up, stretch it out, moving really slow. Exhale, float the left leg down, coming into down dog. Option to flow through high plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Pedal those heels, bend the knees, move the hips. And slowly lower the knees, float into your extended child's pose, letting those hips drop to the heels, stretch it out, and then float the arms alongside the body, palms facing up, coming into your child's pose, just coming into a little ball here, maybe the forehead's touching, stimulating that third eye, the eye of intuition. Maybe notice how the lower back feels, the upper back, the shoulders here, compared to your first child's pose. And slowly float the body up, coming to seated. Stacking the shoulders over the hips. And then let's extend the legs out. So coming all the way to the back of your mat, extend those legs, bend the knees. We're gonna come into a forward fold here. So flexing the feet, bending the knees as much as you need to to get the hands to the toes. And slowly start to let those heels slide away. So it's totally okay if the knees are really bent. Just do the best you can do here. Little by little, straightening the knees over time and folding, lowering the chest towards the thighs. Don't hold the breath, keep breathing, helping the body to relax. And slowly walk the hands up the legs, coming back to seated. Let's take our reverse plank. So taking the palms behind you, point the toes, extend through those legs. When you're ready on your next inhale, lift the hips up to the sky. Lower the feet down towards the ground, opening the chest, the shoulders. Lift the hips higher. Slowly exhale, lower the hips down. Bend the knees, we're gonna come back into that forward fold. So second opportunity to go a little deeper. Folding over the legs. Remember, keep the knees bent. 
If you can't reach those feet, the toes, just bend the knees. And then over time, little by little, slowly start to straighten the knees. And totally gain more flexibility the more consistent you are you will get more flexible just be patient slowly release walking the hands up and this time let's come into our reverse tabletop so walk those feet in ground the soles of the feet bringing them hips width apart and then when you're ready inhale lift the hips up to the sky opening the chest opening your heart avoid letting those knees flare out Exhale, slowly float the hips all the way down. And then from here, we're going to make our way onto our back. So if you need to shift forward, take the arms out, palms to the sky, round that spine, rolling all the way down, lowering down. And once you get down there, feel the shoulders grounding the back. Bend those knees, hug the knees into the chest. Give yourself a big hug. Maybe bring the forehead to the knees. Let's extend both legs up to the sky. Take the arms alongside the body, palms facing down, just supporting your body here. Close the eyes. From here, let's come into our happy baby, bending the knees, take the arms inside the thighs, peace sign fingers wrap around the big toes, or if you can't get that yogi toe grip, take the hands to the ankles, to the shins, and then bending the knees, start to use that arm strength, drawing the knees closer to the ground, opening up the hips, should be pretty open here. But if you're not, that's okay too. Maybe rock from side to side. Massaging that lower back, the hips. Maybe extend through the knees. those shoulders
Keep letting those legs drop close to the ground. And slowly bend the knees, bring the soles of the feet together. Release that yogi toga, float the arms up overhead, let those knees drop towards the ground so creating a diamond shape with the legs soles of the feet are touching coming into reclined butterfly pose or saptabhata kanasana start to take the arms overhead maybe cactus arms if that feels comfortable for you totally open here Close the eyes. Keep letting those knees drop. Feel free to stay right here or make your way into your final posture, Shavasana. Taking the legs straight, <clears throat> mats width, opening the arms out and tea palms to the sky. And feel free to grab a blanket to keep the body warm. Put on socks. Just try to find stillness in the body and mind here.
feel free to stay in your Shavasana as long as you'd like, gaining all the wonderful benefits it provides. If you'd like to join me in slowly closing out your practice, begin to move the toes, the fingers, the hands, the feet. Inhale, float the arms up overhead. Bend the knees and just slowly roll on to your right side, coming into a fetal position. And just taking some nice deep breaths there. back to a comfortable seated position. Roll the shoulders back, sitting up nice and tall. Take the palms to the knees, closing out our practice with three cleansing breaths, inhaling through the nose and exhaling out the mouth. Big inhale. Exhale, let it go. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for sharing your beautiful practice. Thank yourself for taking this time for your health, your well-being, and being so consistent. May there always be peace in your heart, peace in your words, and peace in your mind. Have a beautiful day. Namaste. I hope you enjoyed your journey today. If you would like to see new classes, please remember to subscribe, like, visit our website at cavellalife.com, become a member on our Patreon account. By becoming a member, it allows us to create new classes. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Cavella Life. Thank you so much. Namaste.